Hey everybody, it's James over here at the digitalmediazone.com uh, bringing you a review here of a Windows Phone 7 app uh, which was um, lately basically I've been going through trying to go through all the media center related apps that are on the marketplace for uh, Windows Phone 7 currently. And one that kind of struck me was Big Screen Buy Remote which is by Big Screen, uh, Big Screen Global. Um, and they're kind of really known for bringing in a lot of EPG data and also they have um, the ability to you know, view all your recordings just online, um, schedule recordings online and everything like that. Um, basically, uh, this is set up very similar like all the other uh, apps for different mobile phones where basically you have to set up a server uh, on your, your Media Center PC. You can see here I have uh, Manage Hosts. Let me see if I can pull this up here. So Manage Host Screens where you can just add and, and remove hosts. Uh, from here, so I already have one here. And basically, what this allows you to do is, this can be configured, I'm local here, uh, but you can also be set up to do remotely uh, to actually connect to your server. Uh, so if you were just out and about and you wanted to look at all your current recordings and things like that, you could, or what's coming on, you could, you could go ahead and pull that up. So right here we can see what's going on right now on all my channels, I just have over the air channels and they go ahead and they put them in a nice list broken down in, in bigger chunks. So this is channel 3.1 to 8.3 uh, to see what's here. It's, it's about almost 1 a.m. here. So there's not much going on. So you got some uh, Poker Stars, Last Call with Carson Daly, some Seinfeld, things like that. That's convenient. This Seinfeld's called the Red Dot. So if we go ahead and click on Seinfeld um, here, it'll actually go ahead and pull up um, some data here, pulls a picture, a little description, gives you the rating, if it's an HD or not, and you can actually just say, uh, go ahead, oh, I'm in trial mode. <laughs> so you, from here, you can actually go ahead and say record, you can actually record series down here, I don't know if you can see that, I apologize for the crappy uh, video quality here. Um, this is a trial mode, you can pay for the full app, I believe it's $4.99, or you can do the trial, and, and I wasn't exactly sure what all the trial was, but it looks like you can only set recordings from the first three shows, so or first three channels. So if I did something like uh, late night here with Craig Ferguson, I could probably hit record, and now it's going to go ahead and schedule the recording on my uh, media center. Everything's pretty nice. I have really cool graphics. Everything's themed, um, whatever color your theme is uh, for your uh, Windows Phone. So my now you can see I'm recording the show here. There's a red dot. Um, it gives you data. Um, on the program, things like that. You can even record the series if you want to. So let's say don't record because nobody really likes Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Um, we can go back. Uh, we can look at all just channels individually so we could we could see what's what's the lineup for all the uh, what's coming on each channel here, um, which is really convenient and nice. It's a little touchy. But that's just you know, that's Windows Phone uh, and just how I'm probably holding it. Kind of odd here. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, we can look at all my upcoming <laughs> scheduled shows. I have actually nothing, uh, nothing upcoming because all the series series stuff just kind of ended. We can see here all my uh, shows that I have recorded. And you can come in here and say oh, I don't want to, uh, no longer want to uh, record this series. So I can just go ahead and cancel a series here, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can do. We can go into our recorded TV, uh, and this will pull up all of our. Um, recorded shows. Um, so we can see here I just recorded a little bit of this of the Craig Ferguson late show, late late show. I actually just go ahead and delete this. Uh, if I wasn't in trial mode I could delete this, uh, which is actually pretty nice. So if you're on the go and you need to clean up your uh, your media center, um, you know, scheduled television programs, you can just go ahead and do that. You can see I recorded, uh, you know, uh, Saturday Night Live, How I Met Your Mother, uh, things like that. So that's really kind of cool. Um, one thing that this isn't, this is not a real remote app. You know, this is really just pulling your EPG data into the phone and 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 managing all your scheduled recordings and things like that, um, which is really really nice. Though I'm definitely gonna most likely buy the entire full app because I really like to have this on the go. Um, so we can see here if you want to do it by title, um, you can do it by summary. This is kind of really nice. You also get to see your total space. I have 700 gigs uh, total space. I'm using 53%. So if you're on the go. Um, I mean, it's just, just a lot of just little data 
and things like that that you would want. You can also search uh, the, the EPG, so if you needed a search and, and you wanted, like, I don't know, Family Guy, probably. Um, let's go ahead and search, see if that works or not. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried out every single little feature here. Uh, but the biggest thing is pulling up all your EPG data, uh, being able to, to schedule recordings, schedule series recordings. Um, everything's really fluid. It's a really well put together. So here we go. So this actually is going to pull everything from my EPG data. So anything with family here, uh, if I wanted to record Family Guy, I just go ahead and pull it up. It's great. I mean, it's pulling a lot of data, your TV ratings, um, you know, even if it's CC, if it's an HD, everything like that. It's really, really slick. Um, uh, some other features here, you can see what's on. So if I wanted to see, I don't know if there's any movies playing, probably not. So we can take a look here. This is all on Wi-Fi right now. Um, as I said, I'm all local. My um, Revo sitting in the other, just right across the room here. Let's see if any movies are playing. What's on? So we can see here, these are all the movies that are playing um, that are coming up in the next, uh, you know, 15 days or whatever it is. Obviously, a lot of Christmas movies, even Transformers. If I want to record those, I could just do that from here. It's kind of cool. They give you some categories of what's coming on, um, and you can even search more different genres, things like that, if you wanted to go a little bit more in-depth uh, in your search. Um, let's see what other options we have here. So you can do by date. Uh, wish you could do HD. You could do by channel, uh, but there's no option for HD only, which would kind of be kind of be nice there. So maybe in the future when they update it. Um, inside here, there's really not too much under more. I mean, you can look at all your server information that's kind of here, um, see you know, what's running, you can manage, so it looks like you can, you can actually have uh, multiple hosts in here. So if you actually had uh, multiple HTPCs set up in your house, you could actually pull in all that guide data and, and, and all your, your schedules and things like that, um, which is really, really nice. So that's basically a big screen by remote. Um, it's just a nice pana, panorama uh, app here, and it pulls in a lot of data. It's, it's, it's smooth. It's snappy. Uh, like I said, it does give you the ability to go online with it. Um, I think the only thing that's not working is actually being able to buy it online, upgrade from the trial. Um, but if you just type in Media Center, I think it's one of the first things that come up, comes up. Um, but overall, it's a pretty great app. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to say I highly recommend this app, especially if you're already uh, running big screen by remote. The only thing that I would say that bothers me is probably the fact when you have to go download big screen by remote, uh, you actually have to register for an account, which is kind of annoying. I really wish you could just download the uh, the server app. Uh, I mean, but that's a simple process that only takes a little bit. So overall, it's not too bad <laughs> through that setup process. It's really easy. You literally just install it, and it takes care of itself uh, just sitting uh, on your HTPC. And then uh, once you add your uh, information, it's like instant. You know, there's 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 no uh, no problems at all setting this up. This is by far of all the apps that I've looked at so far. This is by far the easiest. So I can definitely say this is a high recommend for about five bucks on the Windows Phone Seven Marketplace. Definitely give it a check. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, this is James again from the DigitalMediaZone.com, and keep checking back in for more reviews of Windows Phone Seven apps.